Hello everybody, it is me, the one, the only, Divine Iconocost. And today, we're coming at you with another album review. Today, we're going to be re re yeah, we are going to be reviewing the album Shadow Gripped by Cancer. Uh, a bit of a history with the band Cancer, or I should say of it. Uh, Cancer are an English death metal band formed in 1988. They went on to release a trilogy of critical and influential and some of the best death metal of all time with... Oh, uh, I forget exactly what the albums are called, but there's a trilogy from 1990 to 1993, I believe it is, of just pure classic death metal albums that you have to listen to if you're a death metal fan. Some of the best in the entire genre. Outright amazing, phenomenal albums. Um, and then after that, they released Black Faith in 1995, which is a radical departure from sound. It sounded like, honestly, mid-period Metallica, kind of. Um... And it just, I don't like it. None of my friends who like death metal like it, which is one person who I know that likes cancer, but he doesn't like it. Um, and shortly after that album, I believe the band split up, actually, because of the, such uh, poor critical reception and financial reception and all that stuff that it got, the band split up. And I believe they just now reformed, actually, in uh, 2016, I think it was. I think I read that on Wikipedia, because I didn't know that they even reformed until I saw this album pop up on Spotify. I was like, oh, wow, holy crap. Uh... And this is the new Cancer album in 2018 called Shadow Gripped. Now, does this stand up to the band's legendary reputation as one of the formative death metal acts of England and overall just all death metal in the 90s? No, <laughs> it doesn't. Um, uh, I, um, I, I, will, I will give the band credit. This is a return to form with a proper death metal sound to it. I'll give the band credit with that. They try to go back to the roots and do it and do their best. Um, yeah, and this this is definitely is a death metal album. And it, it, I also say this is a bit of a groovier death metal album. It definitely has a very strong groove feel to it that permeates throughout the entire album. Um, and it's just... I, I think overall the album suffers from it, though. It reminds me of Six Feet Under. The music on this album reminds me of some of the worst Six Feet Under. I just shouldn't say the worst. Some of the mediocre six feet under material on here a lot of riffs on here are boring and generic go nowhere repeat 20 times and overall don't add anything to the music um i think this is almost immediately evident from the moment you turn on the album the very first riff on the album it's like oh this riff is kind of cool i can dig this it's kind of grooving and then it grooves in the same groove for like half the song and eventually you just don't like that one anymore then you go to the next song which is called uh Ge Geroats, I think is what it's called. It's the things he used to kill people in Hitman. I know that. Um, and that uh, that song is just bad. It's just it's short and the groove sucks. And it, this album is far below my expectations for this band's comeback album. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna go to the to the uh, production and performances really quick because that's what's next on my notes that I have here. Um, I think the production overall is good. It's not an amazing production quality or anything, but it's definitely it's it's good for death metal standards and for overall general music standards. I don't think anyone's gonna have a hard time getting into this album because because of poor production or anything like that. I think it's fine. Uh, the guitars sound full and heavy. I really like that. The drums are a tad bit weak, especially I think the snare drum could have been harder. I don't know if that's due to performance or if it's just due to how it was produced. I'm not sure though. Um, the bass is also pretty inaudible, and I've I also listened to this wearing pretty good, like over one hundred dollar headphones, and I still can't hear the bass. And it isn't like the headphones I have are treble boosted or anything. They're pretty good. Uh, uh, they're, they re they recreate the mix pretty faithfully, and I didn't really hear anything. Uh, and the vocals are produced well, but I have my gripes with them. I'll get to in a second. The only thing about the production is that there's no life to it. It feels really flat. It feels like everything's perfectly EQ'd and stuff like that to the point where it just kind of feels flat and there's no like life to the music, you know? Even though an album like Tomb of the Mutilated isn't the best produced album in the world, the bad production is made up for by the fact that it has its own unique sound and life to it. This music feels flat and dead overall, I think, because of the production. And I think that the, I feel like that part of the production greatly lowers I'm not since I shouldn't say greatly but it, it definitely adds to the to the diminishing quality of the music and its genericness because what before maybe could have been cool riffs are made flat and boring by the production but overall I don't I could have been worse and it's not offensively bad I just feel like it's kind of flat um, as for the performances everything all the performances on here are fine like nothing messes up or anything like that um, 
they see him be played with some amount of passion. I just don't know what the hell is going on with the vocals on this album. I love the old Cancer vocalist. I don't know if they still have the same vocalist or whatever, or what happened, or if the new technology caught up with them, or if age caught up with them. But the vocals on this album just are not up to par with other death metal albums or other death metal bands. They're not horrendously bad, but they're definitely below average. They're subpar, and that's for sure. Um, I feel like this band could use a new vocalist, for sure. Or this dude just needs to fine-tune his vocals a bit more. Or they're produced weird, and I can't honestly tell which one it is. But overall, the vocals on this album did not satisfy me. Um, just and also they didn't really have their own characteristic to them they're pretty just generic and boring and i think that's the main thing you have to take from this album is that it's 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 a generic death metal album first and foremost the songwriting isn't that inventive at all except for a few moments here or there whenever things get changed up in a relatively cool manner or whatever but overall it's just boring one riff one riff one riff one riff right right after each other right after each other you know repeat it eight times then go to the next riff then repeat that eight times some songs even follow a verse chorus verse structure on here or something similar to it which is pretty uncommon in death metal but still I, it's not a, it's a very overused song structure that is not for me i don't think it's very good at all unless you're trying to make like catchy disco dance music in which that case i understand it and i actually kind of appreciate it sometimes it helps ground the music but for me death metal shouldn't be grounded in an idea like one musical idea it should be free-flowing chaos going everywhere uh which perfectly segments us into my one main gripe with the probably my most major gripe with the songwriting on the whole album is that the guitar solos just fucking suck like like we're like we're the where the songwriting is just not that great it's fine it's passable it's not awful um the guitar solos are ass on this album none of them have any energy or any speed to them or any kind of creativity they just are ass they're simple melodic lines played either slow or sometimes fast um but that don't go anywhere that don't add anything to the music don't expand on any musical ideas presented in the music don't even fit the tone of the music sometimes um, and I do not like the guitar solos, how they're written on this album. Whoever wrote the guitar solos should stop writing guitar solos, and I feel like the album would have been better with just none of them at all. Um, and, I don't know, some, some moments on this album are just so shit, it was hard to listen to, in all honesty. Like, um, on, on the song Ball Cutter, by far my least favorite song on the album, there are several moments on the row I was listening to it. I was like, God, do I have to listen to this thing as a whole fucking album? Luckily, the album gets better towards the f later half. The front half of the album is ass. I do not like anything from the front half of the album. Oh, I shouldn't say the front half. For, like The beginning songs of the album are horrible. And the further on you go, generally, it gets better. And towards the midsection is where it's at its best. And then it tapers off a little bit as you get to the end. But it's much better than the first three songs, which I cannot stand. And if you have your opening albums as the bad album or as the bad songs on the album, it's going to affect the listener's entire opinion of the rest of the album. And I'm actually surprised I came out of this with the rating that I did, considering how bad the opening tracks were. I expected the album to be much worse as I was listening through it. Um, like I said before, this, this is so generic. It doesn't add anything to the death metal genre that I haven't heard before, except that it's a very, very extremely slight experimentation with melody in the intro to the very first song where it has like some like some guitar chords and some strumming open chords you maybe would find in a black metal song so i was going into this maybe thinking oh it might be a bit more black metal tinged it wasn't not at one bit the opening intro was a little experimental and i will give them credit for that but overall it's generic it's boring there's it, it's devoid of all passion and creativity that, that i i think I, I think that's the I think that's another great great way to put this album. It doesn't feel like the band is trying to be creative. It doesn't feel like this is a passion of like love or whatever. It feels like this is oh well I think we should write some songs because our fans want more songs. And personally I just think Cancer should put up the towel and not make anything else unless they can make something better than this. And this was rushed or whatever. Or I don't know why this album is the way it is. But if they can't do any better than this album, then I think Cancer should just call it quits stick with their three album legendary legacy um and not not taint their reputation too much how is it has it's already been tainted i feel like a lot of people are gonna like this album kind of like how people like the new morbid angel album that i wasn't a fan of just because it's a return to form but this is not the return to form that we should be looking for as death metal fans and if cancer were to start making good music i would review it and i would say wow hey look cancer started to make good music um 
but as far as I'm concerned, this music isn't good. It's not bad, also. It's death metal still. I still enjoy death metal. As, I, as much as I've been shitting on the album, it's not horrible. It's not the worst. If you want worse death metal than this, you can go listen to Six Feet Under. Or you can go listen to some other stuff. Go listen to Deathcore. Most Deathcore is worse than this. Um, but yeah, uh, overall my favorite songs in here are Organ Snatcher and Infocidal, I believe is what that song is called. It's kind of blurry on my notes. I didn't write it out too well because my handwriting shit. And the worst songs on here are Garot. Ball Cutter, fucking awful song. Ball Cutter is one of the worst death metal songs I have ever heard in my whole life. Screw Ball Cutter. Uh, half Man, Half Beast, and Disposer. Overall, I'm going to have to give this thing a 5 out of 10. Uh, make sure to tell me why I'm wrong down in the comment section and why this is the greatest comeback death metal album of all time. Or say that I'm wrong because it's actually a 2 out of 10 and it's awful because death metal is a bad genre and I shouldn't like death metal. I should just be listening to you know, Dark Throne and beating my cock all day to Panzerfaust and Transylvanian Hunger. And then just fucking blow my load all over my fucking 18 quintillion mayhem shirts. And then go run out in the forest butt-ass naked, fucking sacrificing my friends to the Dark Lord while it snows. Yeah, that, that I, I actually do that, so you don't need to tell me to do that. Um, No, but... Yeah, or, or, or you can do the smart thing and just validate my opinions down in the comment section and make me feel good about myself, because God, do I need that. Um, anyways, Cancer, Shadow Gripped, 5 out of 10. I hate everyone who watched this video.